Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the NBA opening night and previewing a specific game. On opening night, there's only going to be two games. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Golden State Warriors versus the Brooklyn Nets. Honestly guys, there are so many things to expect for this game and there are just so many things that we NBA fans just want to see. This season for both teams, it's kind of like a comeback season and we're going to end off this video with my prediction of who I believe will win this game. So if you're a big Warrior fan or a big Nets fan, you're going to love this video. But quickly, before I get on with the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Soom, and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click this button right here, the post notification bell, to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. It would help out the channel a lot. Just one more thing, I'm doing a big Christmas PS5 giveaway on my Instagram account. So if that's something you're potentially interested in, go check out easy.buckets. That is my Instagram name. All the information will be there. But without wasting any more time, let's preview the Warriors versus the Nets. For this video, I want to start talking about the Brooklyn Nets. When talking about the Brooklyn Nets this season, they are 100% the most anticipated team we as NBA fans want to see. In the few preseason games, we were able to see Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving play together, but for this game, we're going to finally see them play play together for plus 30 minutes a game. When talking about Kyrie Irving, usually on the first game of the NBA, he puts on an amazing performance last year against the Timberwolves, I believe he dropped 50 points. After getting surgery sometime around February, he's had about 10 months to recover, and from what it looks like, Kyrie Irving is ready for the 2021 season and ready to actually lead this new look Brooklyn Nets team. When talking about Kevin Durant, we all know he has not played an NBA official game ever since the NBA Finals in 2019, and that's why this is going to be a very important game, not only for Kevin, but for us. We're going to see how healthy he is, we're going to see his official movement in a 30 minute game, and we're going to simply get our answer to the question, is Kevin Durant better or worse than before? From what we've seen so far, Kevin Durant looks very, very healthy. He looks ready to go. His jump shot is still there. His driving is still there. And honestly, I just feel like he's back to normal. A big factor for KD though is that in his first game of the NBA, he's going to be going up his NBA team where he won two NBA championships. He's going to be going up against Stephen Curry. So we're going to see if that affects anything or affects any narratives. But one thing's for sure, expect a big performance from KD for his first NBA game after missing like two years already. One more thing for us NBA fans to expect is that this will be Steve Nash's first official NBA game. This is the first time he'll be coaching an actual game, a full-fledged win or lose game. Expect some small adjustments, some small, you know, fix-ups, maybe a little mistakes here or there. But Steve Nash, for sure, from what we've seen so far in the NBA preseason, it looks like him and the Brooklyn Nets are going to do well in the NBA season. Another big question for me for the Brooklyn Nets is how well will Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, and Jared Allen do? We all know last year without Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, Dinwiddie and Karis LeVert really, you know, took control and was the main offense weapons for this team. And now with two superstars coming back, I wonder how Steve Nash will use these young players. When talking about Karis LeVert specifically, he was actually asked about his role and he said that he doesn't care what his role is. Start, come off the bench. He just wants to win. So from what it looks like, Karis LeVert is taking this downgrade good and respectfully and humbly. And that would definitely be a good thing for his career. But honestly, I just wish Karis LeVert would be in a better situation. That's just my opinion. A big question for the Brooklyn Nets is who's going to be their starting lineup. And from what we've known so far in the NBA preseason, this is the lineup Steve Nash has been going with. He starts Kyrie at the point guard, Spencer Dinwiddie shooting guard, Joe Harris small forward, Kevin Durant at the four, and DeAndre Jordan at the five. From what we know, this is their star lineup for now. We all know over the past few seasons, Dinwiddie was a six man, so maybe in the NBA opener, 
Dinwiddie might come off the bench with Karis LeVert. They might start a power forward like Teron Prince or Jeff Green. We'll have to see about that. But for now, let's just stick with their original preseason lineup. Shifting over to the Warriors, we all know about the Warriors this year. Last season, they were the worst team in the NBA. Of course, they didn't have Clay, they didn't have Steph, but now, from their offseason, the Warriors made some big moves to make them come back in championship contention. Of course, their biggest thing was losing Klay Thompson to a big injury that was definitely tough because I'm a big Warrior fan and I just want them to succeed and want them to have a big comeback. One thing's for sure though, the Warriors made some quick moves, they were able to get Kelly Oubre, they were able to draft James Wiseman, they were able to sign players like Cam Bazemore and Brad Wanamaker, the Warriors actually look good this year. With Stephen Curry not being in the playoffs last year, having a lot of rest, I expect Steph to go off in this first game, I expect plus 30 points, plus 5 threes, amazing shots for us NBA fans to watch, you guys do not want to miss this game 100%. A big question for me is who's going to step up into the Golden State Warriors second scoring option? Will it be Andrew Wiggins? Will it be Kelly Oubre? You know, when talking about Andrew Wiggins throughout his career, he definitely has been decent, but he hasn't been amazing. And now with Klay Thompson getting injured, I believe it is Andrew Wiggins' time to play in the spotlight, prove everybody wrong of how good he really is and how good he could be and how he still has a lot of potential. I want to see Andrew Wiggins take a big step in this NBA season without Klay Thompson and it starts off on opening night. One thing that I do want to mention is that Draymond Green will not be playing in this NBA opener and that's definitely not a good sign for the Warriors which decreases their chances of winning but one thing's for sure, Draymond Green will be back soon. So with Draymond Green sitting out, a big question is, who will be the Warriors starting 5 on opening night? We just got the report that James Wiseman will be playing this game, but Steve Kerr so far has not announced the official starting five. If I were to predict, I would say Stephen Curry point guard, of course, Andrew Wiggins shooting guard, Kelly Oubre small forward, I would say Eric Paschal at the four, and Kevon Looney out of the five, and then have James Wiseman, Brad Wanamaker, Cam Bazemore, Jordan Poole be main factors off the bench. That is my prediction for the starting lineup for the Warriors. Which moves me to my conclusion of this video, which is the prediction of who I think will ultimately win. And honestly guys, in my personal opinion, I believe the Brooklyn Nets will win this game. The reason why I'm saying the Brooklyn Nets are going to win is because I don't believe anybody on the Warriors roster right now, besides Draymond Green, could guard Kevin Durant consistently and stop him. Kelly Oubre does have a long wingspan and might be able to keep up a little bit. One thing's for sure, having Kyrie and KD on one roster, that's going to be a problem. And honestly, I don't think Steph is enough alone to beat the Brooklyn Nets in a high-intensity game. One thing's for sure though, it's going to be a close game. I don't think you guys should miss this game at all. But ultimately guys, this wraps up my video for today on previewing the war. But just for fun, I want to add this little part for this video of me actually predicting the stats of the stars in this game. I'm going to predict Kyrie Irving's, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Andrew Wiggins, all of these four player stats. I'm going to guess that Kyrie Irving is going to drop 33 points in this game. He's going to have five rebounds, six assists. When talking about Kevin Durant, I believe he's going to have 29 points with eight rebounds, five assists, Two steals and one block. That is my prediction for Kevin Durant. When talking about Stephen Curry, I'm going to predict that Stephen Curry will have 37 points, making 8 threes and maybe 5 rebounds and 7 assists. And then we're talking about Andrew Wiggins, he's going to have 26 points with, you know, 6 rebounds, 3 assists and 1 block. That is my prediction for this game for these stars. My favorite part about making these kinds of predictions is that after the game, I can come back to this video and see if I was right. And if I was right or if I was close, I just pat myself on the back. Guys, the game tomorrow will be at 7 p.m. Eastern on December 22nd. Don't miss it. Grab your family. Grab your popcorn. Go sit on the couch. Watch it together. You guys do not want to miss NBA opening night because I guarantee you a lot of amazing things are going to happen. What's most important to me guys is one of your opinions. Do you agree with me on this prediction or do you not? Put all your thoughts in the comment section down below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!